A scatter plot is a graph that shows a relationship or trend between two sets of data. The first graph shows a positive trend, where one set of values increases, the other set tends to increase. The second graph shows a negative trend, where one set of values increases, the other set tends to decrease. The last graph shows no trend, where there is no apparent relationship among the data. A trend line or line of best fit is drawn on the graph to approximate the relationship between the data sets. As you can see on the first two graphs a line has been drawn in between the different plotting points uh, to show that there is a positive trend or negative trend. If there is no trend like the last graph a line cannot be drawn. Let's take a look at the first example. The graph below shows the relationship between gasoline prices and the number of people riding the bus over an 18-month period. The first question says, according to the scatter plot, how does an increase in gasoline prices affect the number of bus passengers? Well, if you take a look at the graph, obviously there is a positive trend. As gas prices increase, so do the number of bus passengers. So let's think about real life. Someone may budget a certain amount of money for what they're going to spend on gas. And if the prices increase to where they can't necessarily afford to pay that gas price anymore, they may choose to ride the bus as an alternate mode of transportation. So the price affects the number of bus passengers because as the price increases, so does the number of bus passengers. The second question asks, in a month in which gas prices are $2.75 per gallon, approximately how many passengers should the bus company expect? Well, if we take a look at our trend line and look at where $2.75 lies, um, we would cross the trend line at about 7. And so we can assume that there would be approximately 7,000 uh, bus passengers in a month where the gas price was two dollars and seventy five cents. All right, go ahead and pause the video here and take what you know about scatter plots and apply them as you try the four examples on the back. All right, in example two, the only scatter plot that shows a negative trend or negative correlation, which is when as one value increases, the other decreases, would be graph C. As the x value increases, the y value decreases. In example two, where Tina is recording the ages and weights of children in her neighborhood, well, generally, as you get older, you increase in weight. And if we were to draw a scatter plot of that, we would pos probably see a positive trend in that data. In example four, we're comparing the uh, latitude to the average temperature in June. Well, as the latitude increases, the temperature is decreasing. And so answer choice C would positively describe that graph. In the last example, we're comparing the age of a car to its value. And so if we want to know how much a car would be valued at six years, we would take um, a plot at six years and see about where we cross the trend line, which actually happens at 10,000. And so we would expect that at six years, um, a car would be valued at $10,000. All right, guys, hope you have a general understanding of scatter plots now. If you're not feeling too confident on it, feel free to go back, review your notes, rewind, pause, go through the video at your own pace so that you can come to class ready to work on scatter plots tomorrow. Bye, guys.